Okay, so I have my pickled uh, peppers and uh, cucumbers here, and I'd really like to get this lid off. But this has been in the refrigerator, and I just, you know what? It's, I, I need it to loosen up. So one of the things I'm going to go back to one of the videos where we had where the this liquid inside of here when it heated up it expanded it went, whoop, all right so I'm going to use this same concept to now right that um, heat this up and then it'll get larger and then it'll be able to pop off and maybe it'll expand that air inside of there and help push it off as well so let's do something uh, so simpler to start off with, we're just going to do linear expansion. So just really looking at an object expanding in one dimension. So let's draw a little. Let's draw. Our, so here's my rod. Right. So it has some initial length, uh, and it's at some initial temperature. So it will. Uh, I'm going to heat it up. Heat. I'm gonna add some heat to it. Uh, the symbol for heat is Q, and let's put some of that Q into there. So then what ends up happening? So now here's my rod that is now longer. So I have some new length, it's L initial which in my drawing here, no, I can't pick this up, so let's see. So if I'm, that's 50, so my L initial is 50, so that would be here. And now some delta L. So right, L final is L initial plus delta L. Uh, and I'm at some T final. So how much has this changed? So. Uh, linear expansion is going to be that change in length is going to depend on my initial length the change in temperature so the change in temperature is T final minus T initial remember we don't have negative temperatures anymore everything's in kelvins uh, delta T and then it's going to depend on what type of material steel will expand at some rates uh, copper at others, aluminum at another one. So it's going to depend on the type of material. And this is called the coefficient of linear thermal expansion. Expansion. And it's different for different materials. And that's why you have to go to a book and look up a number of which one. So let's take a look at uh let's start out with this this ruler. So I have this ruler, it is a hundred and fifty-two. So L initial is a hundred and fifty-two millimeters. Let's say I put it in my fridge to my freezer to start off with. So that's gonna be a, let's say let's say minus four C. Uh, and then, uh, then I put it out in the sun. It's 33 degrees outside. It's super hot, by the way. And if right now, it's not that. But uh, so there I've got there. And then this is steel. So for steel, this is 12 times 10 to the minus six Celsius degrees inverse, just to make to counteract. The Celsius that is here, because I have I start with a length. I need to I start with a length. I need to end with a length. I have the Celsius in here. This has to be inverse Celsius. So let's find out what my delta L is in the middle of summer. So I'm going to have 12 times 10 to the minus sixth times L initial, which is 152 millimeters, times my delta T, which is 33 minus negative four. All right, I didn't actually. Uh, let's see if I can figure this out real quick. Uh, 12 oops, times 10 to the minus 6, 152, 33 plus 4, that's 37. 12, if I was smart, 
I would have done this already, but I did not. So 12 times 152 times 37 is six, seven, four, eight, eight times 10 to the minus sixth. One, two, three, four. 6.75 times 10 to the minus two millimeters. So it expands by just a little bit. So that is how you do uh, linear thermal expansion. We will cover, uh, we do not cover volumetric expansion, which would be, uh, that's really, this is not linear thermal expansion because what happens is this liquid expands but I only give it one place to go so that's why it expand that's why it moves so much more when this thing heats up because the volume is expanding it's not expanding in one length this is why you have a, a expansion joints and bridges so when the bridge expands and contracts uh, you don't fall off you know there's giant cracks in it that's also why in the summertime you'll have giant you'll have sidewalks Right, that are nice like this, and then in the summertime you'll have the sidewalk, and then all of a sudden buckles up like this, because these expansion joints that are there, that aren't enough to cover the gap that are there.